بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الأحباب Sinfulness is something all of us do and the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said كل ابن آدم خطى وخير خطائين توابون the Prophet ﷺ said, All the children of Adam, they make mistakes or they commit sin. And the best of those sinners is those who repent. And the Prophet ﷺ himself, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, used to repent more than uh, 70 times a day. An Aghira ibn Yasar. المزني رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا أيها الناس توبوا إلى الله واستغفروه فإني أتوب في يوم مئة مرة رواه مسلم أو مائة مرة The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said in the hadith of أغرى Bin Yasar al Mazani, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O oh, you mankind, so the Prophet alayhi salatu salam addressed mankind, Tubu il Allah, seek uh, per, uh, forgiveness from Allah, or, or repent to Allah, wastaghfiruhu, and seek forgiveness from Him. For verily, I repent per day 100 times. So if the Prophet ﷺ repented a hundred times, then we see the importance and the uh, the importance of making istighfar and making tawbah, making tawbah. Ayul Ahbab, tawbah in Allah Azza wa Jal, repentance, has conditions that the ulama have spoken about. And if you want very precise and in-depth information about Toba, then go to Imam Noawi's book, Riyadh Salihin, and you'll find that in the chapter of Toba that he speaks about it in depth, that Alam Rabbani, Rahimahullah, and may Allah bless him with genital for dose. But some of the things he mentions, of course, along with sincerity, that Toba or repenting to Allah Azza wa Jal, requires that a person feel sorrow and that they are determined to remove uh, themselves from the sin, to distance themselves from the sin, and that they seek forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal, make istighfar. So these are the parts of tawbah, of repentance, of true Islamic repentance, that you have sincerity in your heart. And that is where the determination comes in. You're determined to leave the sin, to stay away from it. That is tawbah. Toba is not when you say on your tongue, but in your heart you have no determination to leave the sin. وَعِيَادٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And may Allah forgive us all of our sins. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. So the question arises, what is the case of the one who isn't fearful of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and continues to disobey him with the hope that Allah will forgive him after he has repented? So from a question like this, when we look at a situation like this to determine the case of the one who isn't fearful of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and continues to disobey him with the hope that Allah will forgive him after he has repented. So if a person does not fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is something right off the get go right off the get go that seems to negate the fact that they've made toba if they've made a real toba, Because as we said, toba it requires sincerity and to be determined and seeking forgiveness. But if a person is not fearful at all of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they continue in sin, then it seems that that's contradictory towards the concept of toba in Islam. So that's the first issue. But another issue arises if a person continues to sin, and they, and they do seek repentance, as is the case with much of mankind, 
that a person, especially if they're involved in major sins, which require repentance, for example, the person who drinks uh, alcohol or smokes weed, this might be more relevant to us, that this person, they know they're doing haram and they feel sorrow. This is in the case of the person I'm giving an example. And then this person repents. Repenting meaning that they're determined not to go back to it. They feel sorrow and forgiveness. If they meet the conditions of toba, of, of, of uh, repentance, with sincerity, then Allah, Allah will forgive them. And then that same individual falls into the sin again. And then again with sincerity they come back to Allah. Because perhaps they were overcome by their desires. So they did sincerely make a sincere toba, And Allah forgave them. They were sincere and they were not going to go back to it. But then some of their old friends come around. And whatever the situation is, somehow their desires overtake them after they made a sincere toba. And we're talking about sincerity. That's only a matter of the heart that we, can, we can't judge this. That person knows whether they're sincere, and Allah Azza wa Jal knows whether they were sincere. So perhaps a person can be sincere in their repentance, but then their desires or a mistake or whatever the situation happens, and they fall back into that sin. That's one situation. So the situation in which an individual does this, but they have no real intention that this is not toba in Islam. That's not toba just that you say astaghfar. You say astaghfirullah, 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 and you're doing the sin. You're, you're uh, uh, drinking alcohol, and you're saying astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. That's not toba. That's not considered toba. Although the person may feel some sorrow, but they're drinking and they're not really, and, and if they have no determination to remove themselves from the sin, then they haven't met the conditions for repentance. So this is not considered repentance in Islam. And a person in that situation might be considered a person who is just playing, who is just joking. And so they can fall into more serious sins, even uh, disbelief. As Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, al-ma'asi barid al-kufr, that ma'asi or sinfulness is the means to disbelief. That's because a person may do the sin so much, and if they feel no sorrow, I'm talking about zero, and they begin to their heart becomes sealed to where they do it openly and it's it's not even a big deal to them, then they may begin, the shaitan may deceive them to where they begin to think what they're doing is actually lawful. And they begin to say, Well, marijuana, it's medical marijuana now. Uh, you know, I'm gonna smoke weed, it's it's okay. Or uh, you know, it's it's commonplace in my country, I've been getting drunk so much. You know, I felt sorrow before, but now, you know, it, it, I'm just so used to it. You know, it's really not so bad. It's, it's, it's permissible for me. But, you know, I have other sins I have to work on. But this is permissible. If they believe it's permissible, then this is disbelief that takes you out of the fold of Islam. وَعِيَاذٍ billah مِنْ ذَلِكَ So supposedly, if such a person is asked, why don't you refrain from sin? He replies by saying, I will repent and Allah will forgive me. Then he repeats the sin and then repents again. So he goes through this repetitive cycle of sin and repentance. The point being, again, the sincerity, and they have the, the sincerity is something we cannot really make an accurate judgment about because this is a matter of the heart, the ikhlas of that someone possesses. But we can see sometimes from someone's actions that are indications that they're not sincere in what they're doing. And Again, I think this falls under the case we already mentioned that the situation, if the person is uh, careless and they, they're not, they don't even try to hide their sin and they just say, I will repent and Allah will forgive me, but they're careless about it. They don't even feel sorrow or anything like this. They think that just Allah is going to forgive them and they're not, uh, they're not uh, going to make any effort. Then this person is... It, it appears that they're playing with uh, their religion. But uh, the other example can be the person who says the same thing, but they actually feel sorrow and they actually do repent, meaning they were really sincere. They were sincerely determined not to go back to the sin. They did 
uh, feel sorrow, and they did seek forgiveness from Allah, and Allah pardoned them and forgave them, but because of their desires, their desires overtook them, and they returned back to the sin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from everything sinful and wicked, and may Allah bless our brothers and sisters everywhere and give us guidance and forgive us for our many sins and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad al-sunnah. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.